guys, so today I am doing a collab video on the Pantone colors for 2016. I am doing this with Amy at Nail Polish Baby 90, Lindsay at Lindsay Does Nails, Holly at Miss Holly Berries, and Zenora at Zen Network, so I will link all of their videos down below. When I first heard of or saw the reveal for the Pantone colors for this year, I, my first thought was like, yay, a year-long baby shower, but um, actually when I got the, um, I printed this out, which I'm sure this isn't exact because it came from my printer, but I did the best I could to print this out and then hold the bottles up to the paper to try to figure out exactly which ones were like the closest matches from my collection. I didn't get anything specifically for this video, I just went through my own collection. I ended up with quite a few pinks, but not a lot of the blues. The blue was a lot harder to match than I thought it was going to be because I thought this was just like a baby blue and a baby pink. Um, but it was more like a periwinkle color and then an almost slightly orangey pink. So it was interesting. So I managed to find a few like almost exact matches and then I picked up a few out of my collection that are like close enough that no one's going to be able to tell unless they are carrying this with them. So I'm going to start with the pinks because there are quite a few. I had three that were pretty much exact matches to that. The first one is Zoya's Dot. And again, this is kind of like a weird... Like, it's like if you took a baby pink and then put like a drop of an orange in it. That's how I'm seeing the Rose Quartz color. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's Rose Quartz and um, Serenity are the two Pantone colors. So this, as far as Rose Quartz goes, is the closest match I was able to find. The only problem I have with this is it was kind of really annoying to work with. And I know that these light baby pinks aren't the easiest anyway, but this I was not super thrilled with. I had three coats and it was still, even then, a little bit streaky for me but unfortunately it was the closest I had in my collection that matches. The next one that I have is a recent uh, pickup for me. I did a head to toe beauty order and got a bunch of stuff and this was one of them and this is Gucci Moochie Gucci. I don't know how old this is or what collection it came out in but I know you can still get it at head to toe beauty because I got it there like two weeks ago and this was another that was almost an exact match. This also had a very annoying formula. Um, it wasn't as bad as Dot. It was still a three coater but it was like a solid three coater not like a kind of three-coater like that was, so it was a little bit better. The other pink I have that was an exact match is actually very recent from the Hello Kitty collection, and this is small plus cute equals heart. That was almost exactly that rose quartz color, and the formula on this one, again, three coats, but this is, this was more of a solid three-coater than dot, so I'd say this is pretty comparable to Gucci Mucci Pucci um, from Essie, but uh, this is probably going to be easier to find right now. So then I have five pinks that are almost, but not quite. The first one, and this is the farthest off that I found, and this is Candy Girl from Deborah Lippman. This is a mini. I have it in this um, Sweets for My Sweet mini set. This also has a blue in it that I thought was going to be really close to Serenity, but when I put them together, they're not even remotely close. But the pink in here is close enough. It's considerably cooler than I think the rest of the pinks that I have, or even what the Rose Quartz color is, but it was still pretty close. The formula on this was weird though, because it was like, it was thick and opaque on the first, not too thick, but thick enough to be like decently opaque on the first coat, but then the second coat, it was like I had to put so much polish on my nail to get it to spread out. You know when you don't have enough, it just like drags, like dry? It was doing that on the second coat, even with like a huge amount of polish. So I ended up having to do three coats just to even out how weird that second coat was. Um, so you think you could definitely get two, it could definitely cover in two, but do like a thick second coat or else you're not going to have enough to cover your nail. I don't know if it sticks to itself or how that works, but this was kind of weird. The next one that I have is from Essie. The majority of these are actually from Essie and I think it's because Essie does like baby pinks and baby blues, like that's their thing. So I ended up with four in the pink and two in the blue for Essie. But this is Fiji. This is one of my favorite Essies ever actually, even though the formula is a total pain in the butt. This is not as close as I, well I guess it's close on camera. It's not as close as I would have liked it to the rose quartz color, but it is still very, very close. Again, a pain in the butt formula, two to three coats depending on, I know some people have bottles that are like chalkier, so they cover better in two coats. Mine was a little bit more on the sheer crelly ish side, um, but mine's also really old. The other one that I have is very, very close to Fiji, but I wouldn't say that it's more of the full coverage polish. This is Tying the Naughty from the Bridal Collection last year. This is more of a jelly, more of a sheer polish. 
it seems like it's kind of meant to be sheer. Three coats and you can still make out your nail line, but it does cover evenly in those three coats. One and two, eh, a little bit streaky, but on the third coat it does cover evenly. And the last two that I have, I'll do one more Essie. This is Peak Show. This is from the Winter Collection last year. So it's a little bit more recent. You might have an easier time finding this one. This one was a little bit chalkier. Two coats, two to three, I guess, depending on your application, but it was um, almost an exact dupe, again, for Fiji. These are going in my Essie Dupes video, which is going to be coming up soon. I have the Resort and the Spring Collection here to swatch, and I'm pretty sure there's dupes in those as well, so I'm waiting for those videos to get done, and then I'll have the Essie Dupes video up. So the last one I have is from OPI, and this is Mod About You, and I had someone mention in the comments section of a video that there are two versions of Mod About You. I don't really know which one I have. Mine certainly seems like the more pinky version, but I don't know if it's the new one or the old one. I haven't really seen anything about two versions of these, but at least mine is a decent match. Again, a little bit cooler than I think the Rose Quartz color should be, but it matches pretty well. And like I said, unless someone's carrying this around and you tell them that you're wearing the Pantone color of the year, I don't think anyone's going to notice. So moving on to the blues. Sorry if I'm talking really, really fast today. The first two that I have are the closest matches that I had to Serenity, and when I thought Serenity was a baby blue, it actually turned out to be a little bit more on the periwinkle side, not like a full-blown periwinkle, but it does have a little bit of that purple in it. So the first one is Bikini So Teeny from Essie, and this is that Serenity baby blue slightly purple color with a silver shimmer. This was opaque for me in two coats, but I think that depending on your application you might end up needing three, as it was very very close to a three coater. And I don't know if this is in the permanent collection. I got mine when the collection that this came out in first came out. I don't remember what the collection was. I have also heard that the formula is different on this one now as well, but I can't speak for the new one because I have the older one. The other one that I have that was almost an exact match and it's a little bit darker of a version of that Serenity shade is Boho Blues from China Glaze. This is from the Road Trip collection, which was for spring last year. This is one of the few that I actually liked in that collection. And this is kind of like a crelly blue cream. But it does apply very sheer on the first coat, but it builds up really nicely in the second. So I think you could do two to three coats. I did two for my pictures. And this should be still available like eBay, Amazon, Head to Toe Beauty. It's not super old. So the two that I have that are close but not quite, the first one is also from Essie, and this is Saltwater Happy from the Summer Collection last year. And this is the lighter baby blue. It's got a little bit of that purple in it, but it's not quite enough to match Serenity completely, uh, but it is close. And this one, if I remember correctly, because it's been a while since I swatched this, was opaque in two coats. And the last one that I have is very, very recent. This is Don't Be Shallow from the House of Color collection, which is from China Glaze for spring this year. And this is a little bit, again, more on the baby blue side. Doesn't quite have that drop or two of purple in it. The formula on this one was not the best for me. This was a three-coater. Kind of difficult to even out because it is more of a jelly polish, and it was a little bit gummy. And I know jelly polishes are a little bit thicker anyway, but this was like too thick. Like it was crossing the line between oh that's just a jelly and like that's just a bad formula. So I wasn't thrilled with the formula on this one. I really wish it was better. I think it would be great for jelly sandwiches uh, because it is so sheer. It's sheer enough to go over a glitter without covering it completely in one coat um, or you could wear it on its own in three. It's just a little bit annoying to work with. So that is my 2016 Pantone color nail polish picks. Again I will link everyone's channel that I did this collab with down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later.